All right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the stream. I did not even start the words on stream. Hashtag pro streamer, not. All right, let's go over here and check audio, make sure this in fact is working because I keep forgetting to do stuff. All right, it sounds like audio. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I was a little off my game today because uh, I got up and I went to the grocery store so I could get that taken care of. Let's go to game. I went to the grocery store so I can get that taken care of because I thought it was going to rain all day and it's not. So, uh -uh. all right. So we're going to see um, if we can launch some rockets today in Factorio. Let's launch Factorio. It says it's launching. Um, waiting. This is strange. Oh, okay. That was weird. All right. Oh. All right. We're on part 20. Let's make, see if we got any mods. Oh, we got an update to, oh, okay. Did he, um, You put any or in change log made adjustments to space mod force type okay just some some updates here so update firm this might sound dopey i'm trying to find a shower caddy i think i found one all right whoa wow Oh, that's for the power armor. All right, I was about what? Um, so we want to do save part twenty. Saving, good. Zoom. That'll go away here in a sec. I moved the uh, the helo pad because it's causing flicker here. You can disable this message in power armor startup settings if you want to. No, I'm fine. All right. Um, so last time. Wow, look at the, hey, why is there pollution right there? That doesn't make any sense. Huh, really weird. Um, all right, so we need to get red online, which needs, we need sulfuric acid. So, um, we're gonna need stuff. So I'm gonna need another refinery, keep doing this. So we found this refinery and to make sulfuric acid, if I'm not mistaken, hang on, need sulfur. We're gonna have that. And then we need sulfur and, wa and iron plates. So we need iron plates. All right, so let's see here. We have got, need some drills. So let's uh, load up on those. Let's grab 88 of those. Okay, let's make, um, one, two, three, five, 10, 15, 16, 17. Make some of those. Oh, five, 10 of those. All right. Oh. Here's pop. Look good. All right, so we're gonna get loaded up on some stuff here. Okay, I don't need this. Let's make another train. Um. Three hundred. Good.
So did we drag stuff to the blue already? We're looking at it here. Oh, lost. We did. So we just have to um, get sulfuric acid, which is going to be right here. So we'll put, oh, I need pump jacks. How many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 26. All right, let's get 30. Load up on the pipes. one of these things now it's going to be sulfuric acid we're going to be pumping back for so do we load it up in a train yeah we're going to have to load up in a train so <clears throat> um so the blue circuits have to go here. God, look at all this coal that's in the way. Um, if we do our landfill to connect all this, we could do a sulfuric acid tra uh, train somewhere in here. Or we could just drop it off here, probably. Are we done? Nope, still waiting. All right, um, so we want to go, what's our closest, um, let's turn that off. Let's go ahead and go to the rocket circuits. Why does that do that between, okay. Really weird. Get on board. Fuel. That would have been bad. All right, let's hop out here. I need to bring the boys over because uh, we're going to do some landfill. Let's see where they're at. Where did I leave them at? They're right there. So let's come down here. Let's do our loading blues. I didn't want to make one of those. All right, then once again, We got reds, we got a line of green, the blues are out and the sulfur grass needs going on. Okay. Alright, 
And then, hey, there's the guys. So at the pump station, uh, let's see here. How do I do this? This, highlight that, and firm. Oops. We'll come back to that in a little bit. Oh, they got, they got behind. Perfect. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Yeah. you for the 21 months and good morning to you as well oh and into a rock you know what i'm gonna pick up those rocks stone oh 
just trying to complete a little bit of a rail network here because you never know. You just never know. Better safe than sorry. Ounce of prevention, blah, 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 you know? All right. Now let's go down here and um, see, we got water where? We got water there, but I need water here. So we're gonna have to uh, drag it up and over. All right. Oh, wait a minute. If we're picking up, uh, I put the refinery on this side, train could be on this side. No, but there's more room on this side. Does it matter? I don't know. All right, hang on, let's just, put, I, I think we're gonna put the, so I need to figure out which, um, if we do plastic again, You know, if we run short on solid, let's do a solid fuel one. Uh, see the oil is right there. Okay. I know that's the, um, the mod. I don't have it in my mod list, but it's, um, hang on, settings, mods. It is the power armor. Oh, it doesn't have it in here. Bummer. Huh. Hardest backpack. Yes. I updated. Thank you. Save game will show it. Oh, well, thanks. All right, uh, save. There it is, the Power Armor Replacer. This is one that uh, a viewer made and asked me to try it out, so. Thanks, BMAC. I got, I got itchy nose. No, 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 don't do that, do that. If you're looking for settings for the mod, look at startup. Yeah, right, yeah. And, and there's also sometimes you can go into mod settings and you can do, so these are mods also. Oh, and startup you're saying. Yes, thank you, of course. There it is. So. He's got up to a Mark 10, holy shnikey. All right, so. Also, I'm the creator in case you wondered. Oh, Snake, you changed your name then. All right. Yeah, I updated the mod. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a good content creator. Do that. Kelly ho! <laughs> All right. I wanna figure out how I'm gonna do this. I need to get sulfuric acid up here so do i just drag it in pipes or load it up in a train i think i'm gonna load it up in a train it never gets old no it does not one two three four all right all right um There we go. And then the oil comes in. That's the water. That's the oil. So if we, eh, I uh, can't do that. Okay, let's do one of those. Fine. Here, I'm gonna do five. 
Snakes is the private account that I use to watch vids while this is the one I use for stream. Oh, I got you. All right. Well, everyone's got their reasons. I get it. There we go. All right. So let's put this right there. Boom. And then let's do... That. That. All right, that gets the oil in. Now we gotta get water. I think. Here's the water. Of course not. That was close. Do, 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 do. I'm, I know I made one, I just can't find it. There it is. Oh, geez. Mm. Oh, there we go that let's go up to there there water 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 all right all right what do we need here what am i missing well i'm missing um one and then five six seven you read any of the warning messages popping up yeah first time second time no like i like i said in the uh in the message to you um i think for me since I, I don't play a whole lot of mods, it, it's it's nice to have the different tiers and the recipes being challenging. I don't mind that at all. So the new one should have shown. Okay. Yes, I, I, I updated. Um but um I told you I would try it out and I, I tried it out. I'm you know for me it's overpowered, but you know, I've got I got all your stuff in here. So this is gonna make, oh wait, we want to do that. Yeah. All right, so we're in it for the sulfuric acid. What? Weird. So we put it here. Nope. Goes there. All right, I don't know why. All right. So let's see here. That is making sulfuric. That's requesting sulfuric and that. So that's when we're gonna come over here and figure out how we're gonna do this. We need to smelt. Ugh. Oh, this is gonna be. Um, probably should have put the refinery further over. Well, we really don't need a bunch of uh, smelting. Not really. So let's see here. If we do this, and I want to go that way, and I don't need every... Let's just try that. Here we go. A lot of stuff. Okay. And if I, if I want more, I think I could just do something like this. And I could do that. Okay. 
Again, you are in a vanilla game. The mod was meant for... Yeah, which... which the only way... I, I tried 248. And I, I'm not willing to try Space Exploration or Crestoria or even Bob's or Angel's. No. But you asked me to and I did. So, there you go. I gave you some feedback and probably wasn't very good. All right, so... Now this stuff has to be smelted. So if we grab a furnace set up, see what kind of room we got here. Oh, I can probably put, I can probably squeeze two of these in here. Probably. One and, oh geez, get off the system. Two. All right, sweet. All right, so how many outputs we got? One, two, three, four, five. We'll do a five to two. Let's see if we can make this fit. But uh, props to you on the mod. I mean, I've never really done any modding. Well, a, a little tiny bit. I modified a mod for Kerbal once. But it was more of a configuration file. No actual coding. Torts, how the heck are you doing, man? All right, so let's um do we need that or that? No, do we need that one? No. Uh, also may have had some recipes in vanilla, a bit more simpler. Ah, gotcha. Do I need that one? I don't. Sweet. All right, so let's put that there, and we're gonna scoop this up. Do that, and then that. We we're gonna do that there. Copy that there. Do that. Back at my desk in the office. Other than that, you're doing fine. Well, it's like being back in the saddle, but no horse. All right. So then we're gonna take these right here and connect those there we go then um the problem here is um so to make sulfur we need petroleum all right we're getting some sulfur but it's the uh, oh oh since oh okay so let's do this then let's uh Let's cap this off right now. Because there, this is using all the petroleum until I bring over all the beacons and whatnot. Now that should start going up. Why is it going? Oh, okay. No, going down. I, I don't, I don't get it. All right. So, um, all right, let's connect this and that, and that, and that, and that. I have to bring over logistics bots. I didn't bring any on. So let's um, load up 300 maybe. Oh, I get it. I do. Um, so we should have a logistics network. That's nice. So if we just take the outputs of these and I'm going to drag this one okay actually let's figure out how i want to do this we want to scoop oh great where is that let's put this right there 
And then we're going to put this into a... I know what I'm doing. I really don't, but I'm trying. I'm going to put it in there. And then we're going to... That way the robots don't have far to fly. There we go. So we're requesting... change this number to say like 800 and this is making sulfur we're gonna fill that up let's change this to say i don't know a thousand no we don't even have to request sulfur because it's just coming right over right so this makes the sulfur right and then it pulls it over. So why am I requesting soul? Doesn't make any sense. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I can make. <gasps> okay. I forgot. Oh, hey. There we go. I think I have a few logistics robots. I do, look at that, boing. And they're gonna go, they're gonna be overworked, I get it. Oh, they're stocking mine. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, what if I turn that off? All right, so leave me alone. There you go. There you go. There we go. No, no, keep, keep working. So where's the sulfuric acid stored? In here? No. I think so. Somewhere. Oh, no. Uh, there it is. All right, sweet. All right, so we got sulfuric acid going. Uh, the part you could change is the CAS settings under startup, making it unable to reduce your grid size and inventory bonuses per armor tier if they are too big. Oh, it, it's all good. No, I, I appreciate that. I mean, it's nice that it's very configurable. That way, you know, people like me can just use it and go, oh, okay, so I can dial this back. I can tune that up. I gotcha. All right, so we need to bring back stuff to pimp this out. Yeah, I noticed the the uh, that I needed lumber for for some stuff. All right, so I think we're gonna load this up in a train and drop it off over here and then drag it up. So we need a, a liquid loading. There it is. Uh, that's an unload. I just swap it, right? Yeah, we just change it. All of a sudden, I went through puberty. <clears throat> Sorry. Hey, um, we're gonna... If I'm not mistaken, the 248 also had a wood requirement. What am I looking for? Uh, one, two, three. Oh, we need more, okay.
All right, let's um make one of those. This would be Sulfuric acid for blue circuits pickup. That is quite a mouthful there. Now we do have a train. There we go. We should have, there we go. And you need some fuel. I think I have a little bit of fuel. There you go. So now the sulfuric acid is sitting here. Maybe I just put it right into that. Because if it goes into that, why not? I mean, we don't have much right now. And it's being loaded into there. All right, cool. Um, like I said, we need to get that all decked out. So now we have to do... Um, let's take the blue output. I want to do this. We have to do... That. And two, we're going to come... Could just come down here. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, uh, except for there's a rock. All right, so that's the blue, blue. And then we need a liquid unload. Note that I found out just today that after adding the mod, you can't remove it unless you load 
back it to before you added it since it removes any trace of any armor. That's all right. I appreciate that because that can be detrimental to many, many playthroughs, I think. Right, so while we're doing that, we come down here, grab this, copy that. and unload all right Whew. and then to tie the sulfuric acid together oh i can actually do it down here oh, neat Train comes up, unloads, and it should do what it needs to do. Do I just said do do? All right. Um, so we should have some. So let's just do a real basic run here, then come back and. Uh, All right, let's hop in here. Let's go to um, here. We will empty our cargo, wait for an activity. Then let's go refuel. Then we're gonna come back here, wait for full cargo. All right, thanks, Snake, appreciate it. Then we'll do, uh, we'll hop on the train, or we'll hop on the chopper, go back, pick up what we need to get everything all amped and, bl and blinged up on, uh, on the uh, refinery and whatnot. All right, so let's put you on manual for a sec. So that unloaded. And, uh, Look at that, we're making blues, I think. Yep, there we go. Sweet. Well, there's not a whole lot of sulfuric acid down here, is there? Well, there's a little. There's a little, all right. So um, I'm pretty sure you can go on your merry little way. And where's my chopper at? Is it there? I don't know where my helicopter is. All right, let's send um, send the guys back. Oh, hey, I think I have a, a pretty good question here for s someone that knows Factorio. Um, hang on, let me get these guys back where they need to go. So if I look at my map, and look at my pollution. Why is there... Hang on. Why is there pollution right here? Is that a, a mod conflict or, or lights or... Does that make any sense, anyone? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, yeah, it's. It does that thing.
Yeah, so if we turn it on. I don't know. I have the same issue on my map where landfill holds pollution. I don't know. Oh, wow. Uh, that's just um, uh, rails. Rails and lights and power. Yeah. And also, it was there, but it went away. All right, landfill. Landfill causes pollution. <laughs> All right, top out of here. Do this. Through the landfill. Oh, can't do that yet. Thanks, B Mac. Quad, appreciate it. So we have, um, we have the blues that need to get all pimped out. I keep saying pimp and I don't mean that derogatory. I'm all, all blinged up. So we got to do a refinery. So we need a uh, 50, a hundred and hundred again all right, let's get that situated all right let's turn this off 10 20 30 40 50 and we need a hundred and a hundred then for the blue that I'm using I think it's um it's not that one We need seventy beacons. I don't think I have seventy beacons. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 beacons. And we need hundred. We'll just say two hundred again. 100, 200, 100. All right. Oh, right. We need um, more of those guys. I'm going to steal them. Stuck. Wait till all this restock ends. I think what I can do is I can reduce this down to um, so I got my uh, Starfield preload all completed it's the first time i've done a preload uh so odd funny little story is i um i i bought you know i i, I had i have my original xbox it's actually modded um i added a an ethernet port to it and i have some software installed that allows me to use a ftp server i was putting my movies on the hard drive so I could uh, watch movies. That was before TiVo and all that kind of stuff. Um, so anyways, I have my original Xbox. I don't have my original Xbox 360 because I went through a couple of those with the Red Ring of Death, but I, got, I still have my Halo 2 edition Xbox 360 and I have an Xbox One. Why was I even talking about that? I had a story. I can't remember. Oh, oh, oh. So when I had an Xbox 360, I was actually getting tired of splitting my game library between console and PC. I played a lot of uh, StarCraft. Um, I played a lot of um, Command and Conquer, stuff like that on the PC. And on the console, I was playing like 
uh, Halo, obviously, and some other games. So I made a decision to where, as an experiment with Steam, I pre-ordered a really bad game, Alien Colonial Marine. And I could preload it. I was that, that was pretty cool. And this is before cable high speed. I was doing it over DSL. DSL or ISDN, I can't remember which one I had at the time. So I preloaded it, and then the day it came out, I still had a big patch, and it worked. I went, all right, so I'm gonna start playing all my games on the PC. <laughs> so that was the, the first and only time I've preloaded a PC game. Um, so when I did Starfield, it was interesting. It downloaded, it took me about 45 minutes, maybe 55 minutes, did the install, and then I got this uh, little red retry thing that says app not released i went uh is that normal and i switched off of it i switched off of that in my library to something and back and then it says play but it's got a it's all grayed out i was a little nervous i did it wrong all right so um nope nope i am looking for logistics bot logist not construction bots there we go how many do i have Perfect. Let's head back to uh, that. Landfill is, so I put it, I, I, I put the landfill where there was some pollution and it trapped it. Okay, I'll go with that. Oh, Oh, by the way, I, I fixed, uh, I think all the channel points now are fixed. I do apologize. It was um, an update to the bot and I didn't read what I had to do. But the one that was not working was the quake. Now it works. It's a little different. I had to reinstall the, uh, the shader plugin. All right, so this is good. This is good. Okay, let's hang out over here. A little closer. Did you get refueled? Oh, you did. Cool, I'm gonna take your fuel. All right, and we're going to turn this on. There it goes. Oh, it's gonna do the smelters too. All right, that's fine. Wasn't quite prepared for that. It's okay. Hey, Boo, good morning to you. We're trying to get the blue circuits online today. Trying to get everything all uh, blinged up here so we do it better. That doesn't have power. I didn't notice that. All right, so. All right, would you guys settle down? I need to boot. You know, I'm just going to cheat. I'm just going to do that. There we go. It's fixed. Oh, and then we also have uh, all those guys to drop off. There we go. That's right, you do your job. So, plenty of uh, petroleum, and we're loading the sulfuric acid up over here. Cool. Um, we're gonna go ahead and send you on your way. Then we're going to go up here and create a train to start loading up the blue sir. Fine. I got to learn to turn this stuff off. Okay, are, are you guys happy? No, I didn't think so. Appreciate it. We'll have to fly back and again to get the blue circuits all. All right, so this is where sulfuric acid's being unloaded. Great and blues, but we need to get it 
Oh, actually this one doesn't have any pimping going on. Do I have the wrong blue circuit? Ooh, maybe I do. Let's see here. Oh, see, I, I don't think, I can't supply enough greens and reds. Oh, it's only two reds. <sighs> That's a lot of greens. No, I can't do that. I can't supply that enough. Nope, nope, nope. So we were trying to do. Oh, I do. I've got the wrong one. Ah, oh, got it. All right. All right. Hold, please. Can we, can we just hang on a sec? We gotta do a total reconfigure here. Totally. All right, while we wait for that to clear out, let's come down here. Oh, geez, ran into a power pole. Uh, train. Here we go. And then that. A little fuel. Hey, Pookie, what are you doing? Huh? Pookie's here. All right, let's just um, pull all this up. Obviously, I've got the wrong ones going. Oh. There we go. Me and Alex were just mentioning how incredibly well Pookie has adjusted to his new house. All right, so the new one is that. So the blue's coming out, red, green. Okay, so this is, uh, let's do tr two of these. This some room. Excuse me. Stretch some power over here. Go. All right. So, what am I missing here? How about to do four of these. Four. Don't worry about any of that stuff. All right. Now, can I still bring this? Oh, so now I cannot bring the sulfuric acid. So I have to bring it around. All right, that that's okay because uh, we'll bring it around this end. Let's see if we can do. Oh, all right, hang on. All right, so for giggles, let's do the outside greens right now. And The red. All right. Oops.
No way! Oh, I'm getting an early arrival today. Wow, I'm impressed. I um, uh, I, I pulled a big trigger on a big woodworking um I'm getting a wood planer. Just a, a tabletop one. Why won't that why can't I Oh 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 alright. I thought I could copy and paste. Supposed to be here tomorrow. I have a tabletop wood planer, had it for two, still haven't plugged in. Oh dear. No, I, uh, Alex has her grandmother's desk. Now the desk was a normal desk, but then somebody cut a hole into it so it could fit a sewing machine. Well, Alex doesn't have a sewing machine, so I'm going to remove the top and I'm going to do a bunch of rips on it and I'm going to mix in some other wood. I'm going to do some gluing and some clamping. And then uh, instead of sanding it flat, I'm going to plane it flat or plane sections of it and glue that together and trim it and give her a new tabletop, new desktop. That'll be my first big glue table planing task. Yeah. All right, so now we just need sulfuric acid. Um, if we bring this all the way up here and then come across and we, okay. And then, oh, hmm. Interesting. Oh, so we just do it from this one then. All right. All right, cool. I mean, I'm, I am an extreme novice woodworker I, in and uh it's one of those things it's actually this this coming year's christmas birthday present there we go Do that there's our sulfuric acid oh geez ran into a rock and that should get everything going so then the blues are coming out there and there we want to bring them all right oh wait a minute i forgot to do something here hang on a sec uh let's uh back up for a sec let's uh get rid of that I, I actually don't know what I'm doing here. Hang on. I'm making a big mess. I want to take the blues. Like so. And we do a... Um, that there. And then the greens can be reconnected. I did something wrong for a second there. Wouldn't have been the first time. All right, then. Um, This is a DeWalt. I have a DeWalt miter saw, a table saw, all like it's a job site table saw. So that's all connected. 
and everyone should be making blues. Are you, you're spitting out blues. Nice. All right. So mine is a DeWalt. I have been very, the, I own all my power tools are DeWalt and I know people say Fest tool or Milwaukee or Ryobi or Bosch, but um, I've owned a Bosch. It didn't last very long. But this is before brushless technology too. Um, I owned a Makita and I really liked that. And uh, somebody borrowed it and didn't bring it back. And I didn't need it. So it was not that big of a deal. But, uh, you know, I just slowly started adding, uh, you know, I got an impact drill thing and then I got a skill saw because I didn't have a table saw. And then I started getting other things, uh, shot back, all that kind of stuff. So I figure I keep my portable electronics in the same battery family. The only thing that's different is we have a Ryobi electric lawnmower. So that's the only thing. And I did that because at the time we bought the lawnmower, the weed eater and the blower at a kind of a Black Friday sale. And they all use the same battery too. So we did that thing smart. Um, I think I want to take this. Uh, I want to get a helical cutter. Oh, that's like another $600. Yeah, that thing is that the cutter head cost. I know, I know it's, it's uh, and I've, you know, and yes, you know, if, if I ever decide that I need to upgrade, yes. But, I, you know, for, for as much as I think I'm going to use it, I think the standard blades that come with it, I think I'll be fine. And don't forget, if, if they seem to be misbehaving, you can flip them around. But, yeah, that's... You get much more planing out of one little square on the helical versus an entire blade. So, yeah. All right, let's see. making blues now we need to come and um um i'll figure it out when we go back so sulfuric acid is coming in train is oh so we still have acid here okay good good all right and uh do we have the blue drop off locate we do so we just need to get the train over there and do that um now this is slow going, why? No, 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 no. Leave me alone. You guys leave me alone. Stop. Wait a minute, I've got some stuff here. Um, oh, okay, I'm in, I'm in uh, jungle territory. All right, let's see here. So we need 71 jeez let's just start making can I, I can make those right oh all right five ten let's try just ten But my, my first test I'm gonna do is, um, some of you may or may not know, Alex and I bought the home that her father grew up in. So this is her grandfather's home, built in the 1950s and it's been added on. It's not a very big home, it's 1400 square feet. It's got two bedrooms, two bath, uh, a nice, a, a decent kitchen and dining room. It's got an office, <laughs> it's got a living room um we uh 
We, we, to expand the size of the rooms and the first bathroom, we removed all the closets and added the second bathroom. So the only closet the house has is the coat closet when you come into the front door. Um, otherwise, we're using like armoires right now. So an excellent woodworking challenge, you know? Um, all right, there we go. I have speed modules. I saw them. They're right there. Why are, okay, there you go. We don't have any more. All right, so let's uh, let's zero this out. Uh, zero that out. Zero that out. We don't need any more of those. But my first test is to grab a, I got a, I got two, one, two, yeah, two, three lumber piles from all the demo work we did. All really good reclaimed wood. It's been rained on a couple times. So I brought in some wood that's been sitting in the garage for a couple days. So I'm gonna take all the nails out and I'm gonna plane these, the, all this lumber down to the same thickness. And it's gonna be fairly thin. So what I wanna do is just glue them on top of each other, let it, let it all, uh, cure up. Um, and then make, and just, you know, make it square and plane it again on both sides. And just, I want to see if I can do a, a very simple planing glue up sort of experiment, you know? All right. So how are things holding up here? I see greens, I see reds, plastic greens are still coming through. All right. Let's, um, Each one of those requires how many? 10, all right. And like I said, before I can really get my so-called shop set up, um, I have one wall that I'm trying to, so the entire garage is insulated except for the rafters, of course. Um, and I wanna put sheetrock up on the far wall and eventually I'll put sheetrock all the way around, but the, the easiest was the outside wall. And I say easiest because it's only, it, it's one wall, but there's a window in the middle of it. It's already been, it's already been sealed up, covered up. It's been vapor sealed and the exterior has a storm window anyway. So I, I don't fear any moisture coming in, but I'm putting sheetrock over it. A little bit of a challenge that Alex and I had to went through. We had to create some furring strips that were different thicknesses because of something was out of plumb or over the years or something like that. So we put sheetrock on the bottom half already. And then what I have to do is um, I have to drill some holes because I want to have some electrical sockets on that side and I want to put them to new circuits. But even if I was to do that, I can't put the sheetrock up yet because they, when they installed the water heater, the power that comes from the panel to it it goes along the outside rafter and then come cuts across. And if I put that sheetrock up there, the, the drills will hit that. So uh, I just want to untack it and go down the center of the garage like everything else is. So, you know, little things. All right, so. Well, let's get the chopper over here. Oh, that's not what I want to do. No, 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 no. How do I go back? Oh. There. Then once I get that up, I have to do a pencil frame of where the window is because I, I, I want to know where that is because I don't want to accidentally try to put anything up on the wall and drill into glass. So 
As long as I know where the frame is, I can still utilize that lumber. I can do, I think, I come down here, pretty sure, I'm going to load up all those blues, there we go, oh wait, blues, there we go, blues, those are all full, all right, can't do anything about that. Oh, you know what? I pulled the green off the wrong one. So, you know what that means is I think, hang on. All right, so which one did I do? So this green is untouched, right? The top one, There's nothing drawn off of that one. All right, so. Blue. Oh, geez. Two, three, and four. I guess we do have a little trouble keeping the greens in there. I wonder if that's going to help. Right, let's just make one more. Because I have speed modules for it. Somewhere. There. All right, I don't see any resources real suffering yet. So let's go ahead and um, go back, get our restock figured out. I actually, I need to steal <coughs> some, excuse me, some rocket fuel. Oh. Since these guys get refueled, I'm just borrowing and not giving back pocket. Okay. Right. 
I gotta make sure the helicopter is stocked up. Head back. Want to come back, get this all pimped out or blinged up or whatever. And I believe with the production of the blue circuits, we get that all dialed in. Um, that should be a fairly easy one to run up to the, the pads. And I think the pads have got to be all blinged up too. All right. Uh, so the blues that we're using is this one, right? Yeah. All right. And it needs... So 60, we'll do 100 again of each. So 60, then 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, need 100, and 100. Right. Now I have these guys I'm not using. And let's go ahead and clean up some of these. Um, so get rid of this, I think. Keep that one. Don't need that one. Yeah, we need to get some uh, stuff over here. Keep that one. How many do I have? Steel for rocket. Oh, that one's that one's way way up there. And the new sulfur. I think it's the new sulfur. I don't know. Oh, 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 that's over here. Yeah, all right. That's fine. It's all good. All right. Go get this, uh, we're going to go here. And we need to check power too. Turn that off. All right, so it's nighttime ish. Dipping into the batteries. This is going to cause some uh, additional power drain. I did not bring enough. Well, how many more do I need? Oh, that can't be right. 
Oh, I was only counting one. Ah, gun it, Andy. All right, but all the speed modules are there. All right. Um, all right, let's, um, all right, sulfuric acid is, is coming through nicely. I know I can never get the right count. So let's, uh, let's take this over to that because what I have, I can put over there. We'll go back and, uh, try to get a complete count. Juice man. How the heck are you doing? Up out of here. And we want to make sure. So these guys are already decked out. All right, let's see if I go up here. That. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't send it. No. Oh, fine. What is this missing then? It's missing. All right. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. So we need, um, one, two, three, four. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need 28 on top of whatever I need over there. All right. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, well, while I'm here, let me drag blue circuits. Um, so we just need one line. Oh, wait, no, we need four. So we need to uh, let's see, balance this out. There we go. And So obviously these other four missile silos, I have to lower them quite a bit actually. If I want to do eight, like I'm planning on it.
All right. Cool. Um, oh, wait. If I go here, I should have an empty train. There it is. That should be the blues. Nice. All right, so let's add the station. Uh, bring you all the way over here. Wait for empty cargo. Then we're going to refuel. Then go back and load up. All right, let's bring them over to here. Make sure that works. Then we got to go get some more modules and beacons. Now, if I read the internet information correctly, I think eight o'clock Eastern time, Starfield will be playable, I think. Let's see, is this gonna work? That gets balanced, cool. Now let's just make sure I did this right. Um, all I'm gonna do is launch it, check the settings, make sure I don't crash. I think so. Um, okay, and that one goes up to there, that's connected. That one goes up to there, that's connected. That one goes up to there, and that's connected. And all right, I think I did it right. Midnight GMT. All right, hang on. Midnight. Midnight Diner? No. <laughs> GMT. The EST. Hey, eight o'clock. What do you know? <laughs> I'm a dope. Hang on a sec. What's going on here? That's wrong. Why is that going that way? Why did I do that? All right, that's better. Oh, evidently my blueprints backwards or something. Like I said, all I'm going to do is launch it. I'm going to maybe give it 10 minutes. I want to make sure because I don't have a really I have like a seven year old CPU, but my GPU is a 3080 FTW. So graphically why should be OK. It'd be. All right, so we want to pick this stuff up. And load it into a hang on. Oh, that was rude. I'm sorry. So if it works, I'll be streaming it tomorrow. I need to upgrade my GPU uh, running an R. Oh, so you're the AMD family. I, I hate to admit it, I'm very ignorant for AMDs. Mainly because I, I, I built all my own Okay. 
I built all of my systems Intel and I worked at Intel. So I'm kind of an Intel fanboy. Yes, yes, I, I know there's there's always this market and whatnot, so. The thing about it is, if you're a gamer, you're a gamer. Your equipment, uh, you know, it's up to you. Whatever you can afford, what you favor, what your requirements are, it's all good. Tell you what blows me away is watching Alex play a console game. I, I've got big hands, so yeah. Am I missing a bunch of stuff up here? Oh, look at that, son of a gun I am. All right, so I'm, I'm a little bit behind the times here. Hang on, so let's take care of 40 of those things, even though they're not re really needed. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, all right. Running a 1070 myself, had it since 2016, still kicking, nice. Yeah, they Intel and in the process of building the huge chip plant in the southern part of my state, Ohio. Oh, they are. Yeah, when I worked there, the latest plant they built Chandler, Arizona. So they had Hillsboro, Oregon, Chandler, Arizona, Swindon in the UK, and Malaysia. I might be missing one. And the big experiment, they were doing a, you know, this is before the term cloud was so big. They were trying to put all their servers, for the majority, most of them, in Riverton, Utah. Wow. Yeah. And uh, I guess that didn't work out. And they ended up shutting down the Riverton site. All right. So now what else do I need? I need... Uh, 27 of those. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then we need 24 yellow ones. 5. And then 16 of booze. 5, 10, 15, 20. All right. Look at that. Blue chips. Oh, we got blue circuits, guys. Blue circuits. I said blue chips. <laughs> Okay. I hate to say, in my town, and, and forgive me for not giving it away, I'll just say, you know, we're getting a Dunkin' Donut. <laughs> I miss Krispy Kreme is very popular, and I'm not a huge fan of Krispy Kreme. Hey. What are you doing? I see you over there. Making noise. Yeah. Um, let me ask you, are they putting up a solar farm? Because from what I understand, Intel is doing solar whenever they have a lot of power requirements. Kind of offset the cost or and help the community or something like that. Why does it look like Oh, oh, I see. I thought something was here and I was missing it. Oh, what is that? The cider combinator. That's okay. All right. <laughs> What's up, Pookie? What are you doing? I see you down there. All right, so we are not making, oh, we are. All right, everything's being made. If I come down here. All right, same dealio. Oh, look at that, copper's having a hard time keeping up. So we might have to actually do all the bling in here all right so let me get the uh where, where's the chopper at? Did, I, did i hop the i did all right so uh, 
So I need, I don't know. I'll just, I'm gonna make some rough estimates here. You know, when I lived in Folsom, California, they actually had shuttle buses. Uh, there are seven buildings in Folsom and there was no plant or anything like that. They did, um, they did um, arm chip testing. So they had a, they had a lot of labs. And uh, because parking was so, I don't wanna say chaotic, it wasn't very organized. Um, if you parked, there was um, covered shuttle waiting spots where you can go and get picked up or dropped off and that way you didn't have to walk as far. All right, so let's see here. So we wanna make sure we do the blue circuit. So I did that from here, here, so let's go, um, let's say 40. And 20, 30, 40. And then we need, I'm gonna say 100 and 100. So, two chips, all right. 100 and 100. It looks like there are plans for a solar farm about 20 minutes south of where Intel plant will be. They are hoping to produce 107 megawatts to offset the factory's power requirements. Uh, the, my, the Intel campus that I worked out in Folsom, they did that. And uh, I tell you what, there is such an uproar in the local community because they said it was Hideous looking. All right, so now that takes care of the blues and then we have um, uh, the rocket. So go back here, go here and go here. And this requires 18. So we'll get 20 more and we'll say 100 and, 100 and 200, all right. So there. All right. Let's turn that off. They do. Uh, I know that in uh, the Folsom site, right before I left, um, I don't know why there was some covered parking. Might have been, they, they did things to where like employee of the month got this uh, um, reserved parking. And the reserved parking, which was covered, also had solar panels. So, and then like I said, the shuttles that were covered too. So they had some solar over the parking stuff. That's right, I said stuff. Are we done? Looks like it. Oh, I'm running so slow. All right, so let's um. Top and go to the blue rocket or blue circuits. Now we still have to hook up a train to pick up the space science and bring it over here. So we're not done yet with all this logistic stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know, I see both sides of the argument. I really do. There's this guy, I can't remember if he lived in Shingle Springs or North. And I'm talking California where he uh, got really tired of the high electrical bills that he was having to pay. So he did a lot of research. He was a civil engineer and, and kind of a, 
not an old guy. He was like in the 50s when he started this. They did a spot on him in the newspaper. He basically came up with doing a very early version of off grid. And he went through so many nightmares with the local power company, just all sorts of, you're not qualified and, you know, finding electricians to pass the, to sign off on the work he did and stuff like that. It was just, but it, it paid off because eventually he did all the testing in his garage. So he got his garage off grid. Um, and then once that passed, then he was able to kind of upgrade what he learned and put it on his home. And um, yeah, you know, the rest is history. I was I was very impressed with the, re I didn't understand half of what I was reading, but it was really awesome. Of course, I don't think there was any lithium batteries. He was using all um, marine batteries or something like that. All right, so I'm hoping I don't see any blinkies here. So the the blue output should be stronger. Nice. We don't need anything down there. Now, what I do need to do, I think on this copper, I need to get that all blinged up too, but we're gonna first do, um, let's turn this off. So a little problem with greens here. That's unfortunate. Um, because we can't seem to keep the copper coming in. It looks like it's coming in fine, but it's getting, pulling four here and four here. So I don't know why I'm getting this. Eventually, I think it might catch up. All right, so let's go. Um, I'm just gonna run there. I mean, I'm no electrical engineer. I'm no engineer, really. I just think that, you know, it's, it's good <laughs> for the wallet. It's good for the earth to not have to rely on, you know, propane or the grid. And if the grid gets it from big generators or even, you know, yeah. All right. So let's see here. If I stand way over here, turn this on. There we go. Except for you guys are, dang it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Son of a gun. All right, so I, I need to dig those up anyway. So that's going to be a big project here. Those silos got to be moved. I don't have enough room for all the belts coming in. So anything that's going over there, I'm going to dig it up and it'll get reused over here. Yeah, we're still missing stuff over here. It looks like all the looks like all I need are productivity modules. All right. Yep. So let's do this. Let's go over here and uh, start tearing this up because this is too close to this stuff. My goal of this playthrough is to have eight total rocket silos that um, I can launch 
continuously without any sort of resource issues. I believe I stuttered when I said that too. These sort of issues. I think once I get this running, we'll then copy said silos and bring them south more so we have more bandwidth for all the belts. Oh, wrong way. I see is I got four rockets ready to launch. Oh, that's so cool. And it looks like that is completed. Nice. So now let's see here. If I stand down here and do this and then zoom in and uh, copy to, uh, I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, I did that wrong. Nope. Oh, stop. Let's grab here. There we go. Now I can see what I'm doing. And then if I flip, um, I think that's wrong. Yeah, so we want to do a, what is it? F, there we go. All right. Now I want to get these lined up. So, okay, get off the, that would be those two. So, oh, no, no, no. I didn't know I could do that. Oh, geez. We're just gonna put all this here for now. Kind of like offline storage. Cloud storage, but not really in the cloud. As soon as I get this, is all of this complete as much as I can, then we're gonna go launch the rockets and keep them going. And then what I need to do is set up a train, maybe here or here. We collect the space science, probably reroute this somehow. Yeah, because I'm gonna use logistics.
All right, let's do this. Moo! Jerry Garcia, we're launching rockets. Look at that. Yes! Woohoo! Hundred and seventy-eight hours. I think I left my uh, game running a couple times. <laughs> uh, we are going to continue. I know I got a haircut. It was good. All right, so I am going to. Um, let's see if we can. Um, I don't, I can't reroute this. So, oh, 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 we can put it on the other side. Yes, yes. So if we do a, oh, uh, this is gonna be not a nightmare, just, okay. So we wanna do a loading. Wouldn't this be like, um, hang on, my, the plastic. Yeah, so same thing. Why don't I put, uh, okay, hang on. I'm doing this to make it easier, even though this is harder. Let's turn this off, ran into a rock. All right, so on this, pla no, that's not, where's the plastic at? Where am I at? Plastic's way up there. All right, so we just have to go along the coastline here. It's all good. Uranium, ouch, 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 ouch. Nice beachfront property. Fishing. Yes, yes. Cut over here. And this is exactly what we want. But not plastic. But what I want to do is put a radar. Do I have any radars? Oh, I do. Look at that. We put a radar right smack in the middle. Now we can copy. This. And then we run all the way back. And we build that. Requesting space science. I'm fine. Just making weird noises. Where am I? All right, all the way over here. Down. So blues are uh, lacking a little bit. I think it's going to take a while for those to catch up. All right, and I think right here, we do a paste. And um, So first things first, we need um, one, two, three, four, five. So we need 15 of those, five, 10, 15. We need um, one, two, three, four of those. And actually, I'll be honest with you, I probably don't need all of those there, I guess I can grab those because we have to bridge the gap between these guys. This is like a restart, re, restarging, recharging and resting area. 
So we're going to take this and I'm going to have to put something like this there and there all right i have to go back and get more stuff yeah all right let's increase this to 20. let's get the chopper here More stuff, yes. So we launched our rockets, we have space science, we have to collect it, deliver it to the labs, and then do um, our first Space science research. Something like that. Right, let's hop out. And all right, let's um turn this off. Slow ourselves down a little bit. Put those back. Let's get rid of those, those, those. Don't need those. got to do that all right don't need that All right, guys, let me take a, a bio break. Let me get this game up and running here for you guys. And uh, I shall return momentarily because things. All right, don't go anywhere.
I'm back. All right, let's um. Wow, you got one. Nicely done. Nice. Ooh, level nine too. Sweet. All right, let's get on to the game. And um. Right. Let's um. Get. Oh, uh, we're just. Uh, hang on. Is it better to just run? Yeah. Let's just run there. Pardon me. Trees. Then completed rail system. Here we go. Now, does that complete? Not yet. Whoa, 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 where are you guys going? Oh, all right. Um, these need to be requesting space science. Instead. And um, all right. So they're getting space science. Rockets are waiting on. So I don't see any real bad resource issues. Uh, it's just, it's kind of slow going here. All right. So now we need a train. Need a train station. Space science pick up. Go. All right. 
So now, all right, what are we missing up here? Oh, I don't need that. I don't need that. There's 500 logistics bots in this network. I wonder if that's going to be enough. Let's add three more. All right. So now we have a place to get them. Now we have to go figure out how to deposit them. Let's do a little cleanup here real quick. What, what? I didn't fail anything epic. Wait, did I? Oh, I probably did. Okay. Uh, all right, so now how do we get space science here? Well, it looks like we're just gonna do a good old fashioned train unloading right here. very loud all right but that's a good thing wait what what's very loud you have to expand a little bit on what's loud oh went too far there you go the epic fail loud nah it's all good it might have picked up an echo from my desktop speakers maybe all right Just, oh, geez. all right so we want to do okay let's build this i just turned down my hearing aids and it's not so loud sounded fine gotcha now i'll admit not all my sound bites are the same hertz and the same bit rate or anything like that it's just entertainment value this Place that. Um, and it's going to unload. So let's do this. And it's supposed to be loud. To let you know there's a failure of epic proportion. All right. Then that gets balanced. Then we go from a 
four to a two, and then we come up here and then we'll figure out what we want to do. All right. Oh, and then we need to build one of these things. And we want to give it the same name as this. Copy and paste. This is a uh, unload. Yeah. All right. So now we should have uh, a train that says empty. Nice. All right. Oh, did I give it any fuel? I can't tell from here. Right, let's find out. Uh, add a station. That one. And let's wait for empty cargo. And we're going to go get refueled. What am I looking for? Then we want to go and then fill up again. It's not moving because there's no fuel. <laughs> I'm an idiot. It's the Y50 theme. If you were wondering. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I'm on it. Wait, wait. What are you guys doing? No, no, no. Leave me alone. Right, turn this off. No, turn that on. No, turn this off. There. Now leave me alone. Then we're going to put some go juice in this. We're out of here. And they still are doing the reboot. Yep. Yep. No, no, actually, I think it, it ended recently. Oh, 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 all right. So, uh, here we go. Here we go. Dropping off the space science. Well, I don't know. There, I got it. Um, um, I think we're going to do, do that. There it goes. So you're off to get refueled and then you go back. Nice. All right. And then we should have, woo, look at all the space science. Um, we don't need to go past that. Space science is very hard to come by. All right. Wait for it. Wait for it. We're waiting for it. All right, so space science. This one right here for 1,000 speedier dudes. Ooh, look at that. Oh, uh, oh my, my eye. Oh, I got itchy by a ball. All right. Oh wait, we got to um, fix this. Broke it. All right, that's fixed. I asked my dog, what's two minus two? He said nothing. <laughs> He's right. All right. Um, go back up here. Let's do this. 
Uh, we're going to add more logistics bots to the space science pickup thingy. We don't need any more drills. Morning, Andy. How goes the rocket building today? We have launched four rockets. Could have been more. I don't know. We got space science going. Yes. It was a, a successful endeavor. I'm very happy. And as you can see, we're working on Worker Robot 6. Thank you very much, Chris. I appreciate that. We need to put some more bots over there to collect because they, they have to fly quite a little distance there. Hmm. Oh. oh, man, that was good. That was good. I came up this this very strange setup here that um, even though I had buffer boxes, it was dropping the science off on one side and it couldn't keep a constant flow. So I came up with this to hopefully do it. You know, do it. All right, so we need to get more uh, logistics guys. In there. In there. Is there any truth to rumor that once a rocket is launched from Factorio, when it lands on a planet that they start <laughs> satisfactory, there is no truth to that. That might be a mod. That would be a cool mod. Have some sort of a couple of hooks in there to where you uh, launch your rocket and it says, end game and you end it and when it does that it then launches satisfactory that, that'd be kind of cool there was a there's a mod for factorio and ksp that to get space science you have to do some stuff in kerbal but it's on a server so you have to create your own server to do this um dr doof did that Yay! Now my robots go faster, which is kind of scary, actually. I'm looking for logistics bots hanging out. Maybe there's some up here. No. Actually, I guess I can hover over. It will tell me. There's 350 right there. I'm taking them all. Then we're gonna, wow. All right, so what's next do I wanna research? Um, I don't know. That's 2000, they go faster. Isn't there one where they carry more cargo? No, I, I, I guess they just get faster and faster. Oh, the Spider-Tron Mark III. Oh, I could so build those. Oof. All right, I want faster bots though. All right, let's, um, let's go this way. We're hoofing it. Both games have ore mining, train systems, smart splitters, flying robotic logistics bots, and alien life forms that spit at you. 
Are you telling me that these two games aren't des designed as a series? Actually, if you go and watch some of the older VODs or YouTubes of Satisfactory, they say that they were inspired by Factorio. True. I'm not fibbing. I'm not pulling your leg. No, I am not. Oh. Oh, I see. This has been going on inactivity. Ah. All right. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Now they've got a th over a thousand logistics. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. You're yanking my chain, aren't you? No, 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 no. No more Yankee, you're wanky. No, I'm not doing that. That, by the way, is a quote from uh, 16 Candles. Yankee, my Ah, that was funny. <clears throat> Sorry. Not very professional. That is weird. My power went out and now the circuit powering my AC isn't working. Uh, usually you'll have a circuit in the house in a breaker box garage or somewhere like that. And then also at the HVAC, there's a, a breaker too. I would uh, go check that one. Be careful. Oh, it's a window unit. Okay, never mind. Plug something else into the outlet that the AC is in and see if uh, if that works. Wow. Hang on a sec. It's every outlet in the living room. But there is a GFCI on the plug. It's every outlet. It sounds like one of the outlets. Yeah. And uh, it, the breaker did, isn't a soft. It didn't move a little bit because sometimes that happens instead of a, a clear trip it could be a soft trip you flipped all the breakers uh could be a bad breaker if they go bad they do i'm no electrician i i am no electrician but i know that when i was wiring our bathroom i was watching all sorts of videos on people doing wiring and uh i saw this troubleshooting video to where they had um they had a an intermittent lighting issue that sometimes they would turn on a light and it would work and then sometimes it wouldn't. And it turned out the light receptacle that fed the switch that fed the light that when somebody plugged in and unplugged, the, the twist was not really connected in there. 
Yeah, or what Chris Abbott said. Could be another one around there. Oh, that's really weird. so my question is is there a way I can make this go faster Okay, so blues aren't keeping up. Okay, so that that's our our uh, well, we got blues in the channels. We're making stuff. We're just waiting on the control. So what's it take to make a control unit? Blues, blues, and a, and a speed module. Now, if I'm not mistaken, oh, interesting. So these modules aren't being, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put speed modules in these things so it speeds these up. So how many do I need? Because there's speed modules here to speed these up, but there's no actual speed modules in them. God, that didn't make any sense. So sweet. One, two, oh geez, one two, three, four, five. So 15, 30, 60. So I need 60 speed modules, All right? I can do that. Alex is on vacation all next week. It will not uh, interrupt my stream schedule at all. Um, I may be yawning a lot because she wants to stay up late and play a lot of games. I said, okay, I need 60 speed modules. All right, 50, we'll just take a hundred just in case I miscounted. Let's turn that off. Good, oh, get out of the other way. Uh, I got sneeze. More power? You think I need more power over there? Let's, uh, let's go check, whoa. I almost got hit. Oh my God, I almost blew out my brains. I'm fine. Woo. Oh, right, right, yeah, yes. Um. I agree with Andy. The next step is to cycle the breakers on the box. You might want to buy one of those voltage tester pins. Ah. All right, so how's the power doing over here? Wow. Oh, that scared the bejesus out of me. We're getting ready to launch rockets. There it goes.
Yeah, just make sure it's a beefy extension cord if you try something like that. All right, so. We have got a power problem again. We're gonna run out of power. All right. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put speed modules and we have to go add on to our power. Doggone it. Ah, ah. Let's get the chopper. All right, so we ran into a power problem last time. And what we did is we took all this and put it up here. I need another big blank real estate spot. I did, <laughs> I did. We ran out of power, so then we did this. Then we had no problem with power, but since then, um, we put the blues online, we put this online, and now we're launching rockets, so I did not... Yes, you're right, I didn't calculate that in. Um, all right, so we need to find... Why don't we just... Uh, 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 hang on. Let's do it down here. Nice big chunk of land. No, that was one, that's my personal challenge. No, no nukes. So if I come down here and copy, and then we're going to, um, hmm. That'll fit right there. And then what we'll do is we'll create a tag. Whoa. Okay. Um, solar farm third. And firm. There. All right. Um, uh, get over here. Hey, where's my? Oh, right, let's have him come back, dude. And we are going to um, these guys back. Now let's reduce the stuff that we don't need. Uh, we don't need any rails, but let's set this to two fifty, just in case. We don't need that many. Um, all right, let's see here. If we're doing one of these, one, two, three, oh geez. One, two, three, four, that's 12. So it's 12 times 53. Twelve times fifty-three is six hundred thirty-six. So I need, let's say, six fifty. We'll make sure we have enough power. So six hundred fifty of these. Sweet. All right. Um. Oh. 
Let's go and reduce this to 500. Uh, let's get rid of these. Get rid of those. Alright, let's come over here. Bring the guys over. Fire Factorio, start new game. Build like a maniac, forget completely that there's a thing called pollution. The biter. Funky guy is building pollution spewing factory and also looks delicious. A massive horde. Oh snap. Spend the next two hours killing off fighter nests. <laughs> I am um, I'm encroaching over here that we'll have to take care of. But right now we gotta address our power problem. So first of all, let's um grab that. Grab that. And go white. Red, blue, purple. All right, they've got all accumulators. Now, if I do this quickly enough, but my, my bots are faster too, so let's get... Oh, scared the bejesus out of me. Richies, thanks for the 15 bits, man. I appreciate that very much. That was awesome of you. I set up the nuclear. It's over there. All right. Now, what I want to do is kind of cheat the system if I can. So if I say, then I run up here real quick. All right. Oh wait, I could take the chopper. You know, my last playthrough, I was doing no nuclear, but I had my defenses were so close to the biters that when my power dipped, my laser defense, <laughs> you know what that means. All right, here we are. So it's four o'clock in the morning. We're generating enough power to keep everything up and charging said accumulators for now. Other than attracting biters, does pollution have any other negative effects? My pollution is starting to be pretty. No. Unless there's, so, so, unless there's a, a hidden thing that I. But I think it's just attracting the, the biters. Dead trees, green water. 
There you go. Uh, bad thing for uh, Mother Nature. All these guys should have accumulators, right? Are. And I did get 600. Okay, good. Everyone needs to get that pound. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Now we're drawn from the batteries. See if we survive the night. So solar panels are drawing absolutely nothing. We're pulling it all out of the accumulators, AKA the batteries or the capacitors. And right about 115, they'll start getting trickle charge. So we're about 
almost halfway through our batteries and our solar. So it looks like we have to hit about 800 megawatts on solar. I think we're gonna be doing okay here. All right. Now we're pulling in more than the batteries. I think we got it. Oh yeah, yeah. Almost there. There, now we should be charging. Yeah, cool. Way over here now. So let's, um, Ooh, laser. Um, this force field requires nuclear stuff. I, I haven't got that going yet, but I would like to have faster bots again, please. That's a uh, four thousand. Right. I've never done outposts before. Do they attract the biters or are they just a deterrent? All right, so we need uh need the guides. And they're noisy. Think of all the battery power they could save if they turned off their noisemakers. True. I, I've done, um, I did my first lazy bastard with biters. That was so challenging, but so fun. Oh yeah. So, uh, tomorrow, 
unless unless there's a problem. Uh, so around eight o'clock tonight, it looks like on the east coast of the United States, we'll be able to play uh, Starfield. So I'm going to launch it. I'm going to play around with it for like 10, 20 minutes, make sure settings are all dialed in, uh, try to fix any stutter issues, update my video drivers, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so if everything goes good, we'll be doing a Friday playthrough of uh, some Starfield. <laughs> oh, train achievement. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. Green. Got all your stuff. Got all your stuff. Uh, can you guys come down here a little bit more, please? Thank you. Blue. Purple. Red. Green. White. Go. This means the substation is there it is. Okay. I get it. I kind of left them all in the dust there, didn't I? Yeah, there they are. They're going to be very angry with me when they catch up with me. I got a pattern for doing all, see all these gaps here? Actually, I thought I had that one all situated. I guess I didn't. Here they come. Uh, hang on. Doing something wrong here. Nice. All right, let's get over here.
Let's turn these guys off for a second. <clears throat> At this moment, he knew. Kiff, am I wearing pants? Honey, thanks, Ray. Appreciate that. Um, still working on, uh, Worker robot speed. I wonder if I can actually see how that's going. Uh, I see a constant stream of uh, science going down there. Oh, look at that. Working hard. We are running out of solar panels. watch a whole lot of Futurama or what was it uh King of the Hill uh yeah I don't know I'm pretty sure we don't have a power problem now. Get to the chopper. Get more solar. <laughs> I'm trying. All right, almost out of accumulators. Should run through and get all of the uh, substations placed, though. That way, I don't have to worry about those.
Alex and I went out to supper at Applebee's. It was actually pretty good. I had the bourbon, bourbon roasted chicken with shrimp and mashed taters. And we brought home our dessert, which was a lava filled chocolate cake and ice cream. Got a lot of lumber. I can't do Applebee's anymore. Got sick from it twice. You know, and um, when I lived in Folsom, I didn't consider Applebee's all that good, but we're talking like 2004 and five. So they were always busy. Um, it was a, Folsom was growing all the time. So service was slow. I had, I got, I had a better experience at Chili's and stuff like that. So right now I'm doing, I'm running around trying to get the, um, get these installed. I think I might be done. Maybe not. Hey, faster robots. Looks like they're all installed. You just run along here. It's like we're good. All right, so let's turn them off. And where's my stragglers at? There they are. All right, let's um, let's get these guys back. Uh, and let's get chopper. Come to us. Dude. There we go. Get out of here, turn this on. We don't need 650 of those. <clears throat> so we can go over here. And uh, looks like we need still lots of panels. Let's do this All right. green there you go white there you go purple there you go red you and panels for you okay so, whoa got hit by the train um how are we doing on space science? All right. Uh, I'm gonna go for some faster bots. Where are they? 
Just 8,000. Oh. It's terrible. There you go. All right. Let's try to get all this. Oh, wait. I want the chopper. Oh, they're racing me. All right, I can still see blue circuits as a problem. Hey, Iceman, how the heck are you doing? We, uh, we ran into a power problem, so I'm having to add a third solar farm. So this was my initial. And then when we started adding the circuits over here and getting all the modules and speed and beacons, ran out of power, so we added this. <laughs> and then... Uh, we we're launching rockets now, so we got all this online and uh, we ran out of power again. So now we're doing this. Solar farm is the power pro. Yeah, it did. Well, it, it was. You can see we're generating 2.1 gigawatts. Now, don't need to. A lot of juice. Yeah, I took some. I think it was um, somebody told me that trying to use uh, the logistics bots to retrieve stuff to build the uh, accumulators and solar panels was too slow. I need 1.28 gigawatts and 88 miles per hour. Yes. So that's when I set up a little sort of production line, which, wow, big difference. All I know is it drains my batteries. Uh, my battery creation. All right, let's bring these guys down. All right, I need... Thank you. I can see on the minimap where I'm hitting you know, no purple here and I got purple there, whatever, whatever that fuchsia or mauve or whatever it is. What I should do is creep down in here. And sit about here. There we go.
And these guys are fast. I get, is there no upgrade? I thought there was also a speed and capacity upgrades. I guess there's just speed upgrades, huh? Hmm. This is what I'm looking at, the the purple here. That lets me know I'm pretty much done. I can move down and kind of do in a pattern. But I want to go up here and get rid of these this wood trees. There we go. There we go. Actually, you know it would work better is if I sat right here and I can eat away the trees too. That's nanobots doing that. All right, looks like we're getting low on stuff. So let's get the guys. Oh, geez. That's the wrong thing. All right, you've got panels, you've got accumulators. All right, I believe you got everything. Having a little dilemma here. There it is. Better. Wait. All right. So I turned those guys off because I want to get down here. Right about here, I think. 
There we go. And I do believe these guys are empty, so we can send them back. Empty, empty, empty. Oh, geez. Let's get these guys back. Where are we at? Where are, oh, there it is. Uh, oh, right here. Funny how you think some trees are in the way, but they're not really. So all I have is a little spot over here. It looks like we got enough stuff to do it too. Sweet. All right, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. But it looks like right now we draw... After charging accumulators, we only need about 100 megawatts. I'm sorry, uh, 800 megawatts. 100 megawatts. Rolling blackouts. We had a brownout. Trip to Breaker. All right. <laughs> Probably. I don't know.
dude. All right, let's see here. Accumulators. There we go. Solar panels. There we go. We're still bringing in the space science. That's nice. Oh, okay. So I did this on the wrong on the wrong side. We want to do uh, this there, and then, dude, that. There we go. There we go. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for today. All right, so tomorrow, Starfield. Appreciate you guys being here. Let's roll some credits. Burn to burn. Credit music. Burn to burn. Richie's, thanks for the bits. Appreciate it. BMAC. Oh, okay. So evidently, we have some uh, rollover from yesterday. It didn't reset. I blame it. When the internet goes down, that, that stuff gets a little jumbled. But guys, thanks a lot for your continued support. I'll see you tomorrow. If I run into problems with Starfield, I post out on Twitter, Discord, let you guys know, all right? You guys have a good one. I'm out of here.